know, we're really excited about what's happening here at the Samaritan House. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, um, we all know, and we had a long affiliation, believe it or not, with the Samaritan House. Really going back to its inception when it got started back uh, in the 2000s. Uh, and, of course, this has grown out of efforts and love of people who have been concerned about the homeless in this community. This, uh, this facility has gone through a lot of changes, uh, but we really are excited about the way things have taken off in recent years. Um, we have a supportive city council, county council, and uh, we just felt very strongly uh, that the local delegation needs to get involved as well. Uh, and of course, this is in the heart of, of House District 95. Uh, and uh, and uh, we thought it was very important. Um, of course, you know, last month was uh, National Homeless Month uh, to recognize those individuals uh, who are homeless uh, now uh, across this country. Uh, it's a growing problem. It's something that we should all be concerned about. And uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, we need to make a difference. And so these funds come from the uh, general appropriations of the state of South Carolina. Uh, we went in and made the request for for things that we were felt were very important to our local communities. Uh, and this year we were fortunate enough because of the uh, surplus of funds, the state doing much better during a pandemic uh, crisis in terms of its funds, uh, with the assistance, of course, of what was happening in Washington in terms of CARES Act, et cetera. South Carolina's budget didn't suffer as much as others. In fact, it's grown. And so we were able to secure some of those funds from that growth uh, in order to do some good things in our district.